Hey traders! Welcome to the Trading Journal. Today I will reveal one of the most simple Bitcoin trading strategies ever. It is simple, but it is still one of the most profitable trading strategies I have tested myself. The strategy will be fit for you, if you want to be a profitable crypto trader. As always, I will share a cheat sheet with you at the end of the video, so you don't have to take notes while listening. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more trading videos, it keeps me motivated to upload more content. The strategy we will use is fit for swing traders, because we will use the daily chart. If you don't like long time frames, or if you are not comfortable with holding your positions open for a long time, then this strategy is not suitable for you. But don't worry, I try to share many scalping and day trading strategies in my channel. Ok, let's start. As usual, we will open tradingview.com and prepare our chart for the strategy. I will use the daily chart of BTC to USDT pair. You can select the pair here and you can adjust the time frame from there. We are going to select the daily time frame. This strategy is quite different from our regular strategies. Because I always tell you to never trade with a single indicator. But only for this strategy, we are going to break this rule. Normally I would never recommend something like this. But the winning rate of this strategy was really good. We are going to add the Ichimoku cloud indicator to our chart, and we are going to make some adjustments. We are going to click the settings icon here and disable everything except lead 1 and lead 2. And we are going to change the displacement value to 1. Right now, we are ready for trading. Please let me share all of the changes we have made on our chart. Please feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot if you want. Ok, let's start with the strategy. Before beginning, I must tell you that it is a only long strategy, so we will not be opening any short positions in this video. We will use the Ichimoku cloud indicator to decide if there is a positive trend. If the green line is above the red line, it means there is a bullish trend. And it means there is a bearish trend if the red line is above the green one. So our first rule to pay attention to is, the green line must be above the red one. We will not search for entries if the red line is above the green one. But this rule is not enough by itself. To be sure that there is an upward trend, the price must be above the cloud. If the price is below the cloud, it means there is a negative trend. If it is inside the cloud, it indicates a ranging market. It only indicates a bullish trend if the price is above the cloud, so we will only open a long position when the price is above the cloud. And we will never open a position if the price is inside the cloud, or below the cloud. It is our second rule to follow. The price must be above the cloud in order to open a position. These two rules are the essential things to check before opening a position. Be sure you understand them before searching for entries. But you don't have to write them down, you can take a screenshot at the end of the video. Now I will show you how to trade with this strategy on examples. But before we begin, you must understand how Bitcoin moves. Thanks to the latest bull market, everyone has seen the potential of cryptocurrencies. It is one of the best performing assets of the latest decade. This is why investors like me like cryptocurrencies. I started investing heavily in Bitcoin in early 2017, and it has been the top performing asset of my long-term portfolio. But, on the other hand, Bitcoin is one of the most volatile assets out there. It can increase 50% in a couple of days, just like it can drop 30% in just a single day. Which it did recently. So your goal while trading Bitcoin is to catch the bull runs, while avoiding the sudden drops in price. I strongly believe that holding Bitcoin long term is the most profitable option. But it is not really profitable to buy an asset at the peak of a bull run. This is why I also trade cryptocurrencies for a stable income. I haven't used the strategy I am about to show you yet, because it is against my trading style but I wanted to show you it after seeing the win rate. So, let's analyze our examples. Basically, we are trying to find a situation that satisfies our two rules. We want to see the green line above the red one. And as you see, the green line crossed over the red line at this candle. And remember our second rule, the price must be above the cloud. So we will go long at the first candle that closes above the cloud. We will open a position at the opening of the next candle. In this example, it is the red candle here. Now about the exit of the strategy. We don't want to miss out on a huge price increase. We want to hold our position long enough to catch huge profits, and we want to close it before the price decreases dramatically. So we will keep our position as long as the price is above the cloud. And as soon as the price returns inside the cloud, or moves below the cloud, we will close our position. As you see, the price tests the cloud two times in this example, but it still manages to close above the cloud. So we will wait until this candle, which closes inside the cloud. 
we held our position open long enough to catch a huge profit, and we closed our trade before a potential decrease in price. But there is a possibility that, the price decrease might be just a pullback. And we don't want to miss another rally like this. So, we will open another position as soon as the price returns above the cloud. We will open another position when a candle closes above the cloud. And it happens here. So, we will go along at the next candle that opens above the cloud. And, just like our first entry, we will keep the position open, until a candle closes between the clouds. As you see, we have caught two amazing rallies. We held positions open for a long time but both of the trades won more than 50%. I know that, it is hard to believe a strategy that simple can be really profitable. But I will show you the backtest results after explaining more examples. Ok, let's check another example. You can see that, the green line moves above the red one here. So we are waiting for a green candle to close above the cloud. By the way, it is our third rule for this strategy. We want the candle closing above the cloud, to be green. So we will not enter the trade at this red candle, we will wait until a green candle closes above the price, and we will go long at the opening of the next candle. As you see, we close the trade with a small profit. But we don't want to miss the trend, so we will wait for a candle to close above the cloud, and we will open another position. This trade was also a winner. But we still don't know if the trend is over yet. So we will go long one more time after the price moves above the cloud. Unfortunately, we have closed this trade with a small loss. But, on the bright side, we have avoided a 50% loss. So, we fulfilled our goal to ride the trend, while avoiding huge price decreases. Before showing you the backtest results, I want to show you the cheat sheet as I promised. You can pause the video and write it down, or take a screenshot if you want. I am starting the backtest now. I will speed up this part of the video. If you want, you can adjust the speed from the settings icon on the bottom right of the video. Or, if you just want to see the results of the backtest, you can fast forward the video. But please let me remind you that, you should backtest every strategy before trading with it. And you should never trust a strategy you see online without testing it yourself. I am going to be honest with you, I have found this strategy from Reddit. One of the worst places to get financial advice, but a really cool place to spend time. Someone claimed that this strategy performed better than the simple buy and hold. I didn't give it a chance, but I still wanted to backtest it for you. Actually, the results really surprised me, and, I believe it will surprise you too. But don't get me wrong, I am not recommending trading with this strategy, because there are still huge disadvantages of it, that I will explain after the backtest. I just wanted to share it because I found it really interesting. I have also backtested this strategy with other coins such as Ether and Ripple. It was still profitable, but it did not beat the simple buy and hold strategy. So I am not recommending trying it on any other coin. But you can test it out with different coins if you want. After I started the backtest, I realized that, I keep the position size the same on all trades, instead of adding the profits. But to test the claim, we have to add profits and losses on each trade. I am about to finish the test, and I will fix this issue right now. Before we analyze the results, I must give some information. I started the backtest in October 2017, with $1,000. Please keep in mind that the Bitcoin price was $4,400 when I opened the first position of the test. Considering the Bitcoin price today, which is around $40,000, you would make around 900% gain if you held Bitcoin long term. However, this strategy provided a, more than 2,700% gain. We started trading with $1,000, and in the end, we had $27,000. I know that it is hard to believe, and some of you guys are considering investing all of your life savings into this strategy. But please let me warn you not to do that. First of all, we have opened only 32 positions in the backtest. It is not enough for a proper test. I always recommend testing at least 100 trades before using a strategy. Second, it worked well with Bitcoin, but not with other cryptos. And third, stop losses are not fixed, so you can lose big amounts in a bearish day. But on the other hand, the win rate is extraordinary. It is a really easy strategy, and surprisingly it caught the trends well. And last, when you compare the wins and losses, profits were huge while losses were small. But as I told you, I wouldn't go all in with this strategy, since the backtest was not done with enough data. I would not use this strategy with my real trading account, but I might try it with a small amount of money taken from my gambling fund. If you want a nice platform to trade cryptocurrencies, you can check the referral link to Binance Exchange in the description box, and you will get a 10% commission discount if you sign up by clicking the link. If you are a long-term holder of Bitcoin, 
I really recommend keeping your coins in a hardware wallet, instead of an exchange. You can check the link in the description box, to get the best hardware wallet. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot them up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like. Have an amazing and profitable day.